Hey y'all, it's your girl Armani and you already know what's good. So today I'm going to be doing an updated makeup routine slash updating my makeup just in general because I feel like I haven't done my, I have not done my makeup in like almost three months since, since June was the last time I really did my face. So I'm ready to like update my makeup. I have all my makeup just like laid out in my little bookshelf right here and we about to get started oh my god it smells so good i made honey biscuits this is a business card i made honey biscuits so we're gonna have to make this quick we're gonna have to make this real quick so if you guys have not been seen have not seen my last recent videos then who are you but we're gonna I already washed and moisturized my skin. It doesn't look very moisturized, but it is. Trust me. Usually, I usually go all out. I use avocado oil, vitamin E, and then my regular Estee Lauder um, face thingy. This, I have the box right here. It's the day wear. I wear that too. It's really, really good. You guys have to invest in that. I don't. It's thirty dollars, but it's worth thirty dollars. But like I was saying, if you guys have not seen my most recent video, then you probably wouldn't know what's been going on in my life um and how i got recently hired so by the time this video goes up i'll probably be working so this is my updated makeup routine and this is going to be my updated makeup routine so we're going to start off by priming um so i'm going to use a little bit of the elf hydrating primer and then this julep julep that came in like the little box um poreless mat mattifying because you want to be hydrated especially during the fall winter season and then you want to be hydrated but you also want to um not look oily you know so i like to mix them but in the meantime so i recently got hired at ross um my first day is on the 24th i'm waiting on a call from the manager actually so he can tell me what time i'm supposed to go in but by the time the video goes up you guys will already i'll already be working so yeah but i've been i got a message so I've been just low-key, like, being low-key, pretty much. I'm mixing my primer up so we can have the perfect base. Perfect base. Um, so I've been low-key just, like, trying to wait it out um, on telling you guys, but also just filming this video because I haven't started yet, but nothing better than updating your makeup routine because you got a new job um so a lot's been going on and since those videos have been uploaded i recently just came back from literally two conferences my mom went to her first one and i tagged along pretty much and you guys this is la for you I'm telling you so I'm priming my eyes too but um so I recently just came back from like these women conferences that my mom went to and the last one we just got back from was the conference in San Jose I was in San Diego no I was in Paris I came back like rested for um, not even a week left to go to uh, San Diego came back Left to go to San Jose, so I've been in the car, on the plane, I've not been home. Oh, and the day that I went to San Jose, which is about like a four to six hour drive, I'm not going to lie, it's really, a, it's a pretty far drive, I had my interview. So, um, yeah, I got my interview on Friday. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't Friday the 13th. I think it was Friday the 13th that I had my interview, so, um, yeah, that happened. Um... I'm gonna sew my brows because, yeah, you always sew with your brows no matter what, or at least that's what I do. But we went up. To, um, I had my interview that day. I keep losing my train of thought. Sorry. Um, I lost my eyebrow thingy. Where's my eyebrow brush thing? Here it is. So, um. Anyways, I keep losing my train of thought. I'm probably going to have to cut this video and all that. Probably before. But um, I had my interview and it went really well. Um, and then I got a call from him. 
um, the manager guy that interviewed me. My nose is like super flaky right now. That's why you want to like hydrate but not hydrate because I peel like crazy. But um, so I got a call from him um, letting me know that I moved on to the next stage in the hiring process, which is basically you fill out a bunch of stuff about your w-4s and you fill out all these forms and you go over the bylaws and the rules and you sign east you sign a like a lot of things you do your i-9 uh, which basically allows you to work tells you if you're an immigrant you know how many hours you can work um your availability um goes over the policies the dress codes and the benefits so um i, I did that i think yesterday yeah i think i did that yesterday so um, no, I did that the day before yesterday. No, I did it yesterday morning. Oh my God, I was up all day yesterday morning. See what I'm saying? Um, so I was, I was chilling, you know, I was really excited to find out that I got hired because I really need this job. I really don't, but I need it to start saving up for school. Cause like I said, if you have not, who's dying? Like for real, who is dying at some nine o'clock in the morning. LA is never, never sleeps. You guys, my eyebrows look crazy right now, but I'm about to tell you, I'm about to work some magic. But um, what was I saying? Like I need the job because I want to actually save up and get the apartment that I was looking at in Paris. So I have goals now. Like I had goals before, but I have goals now, you know? But if you guys haven't seen my last video, you wouldn't understand why I keep talking about Paris, like, the past tense or, like, why I'm here. Um, because you're, you're, you know, you're either new or you don't know me and, you know, you're trying to get to know me through this video. But you have to go watch um, the Paris video. So, I'm going to take uh, my LA Pro Girl thingy. It's brand new. I didn't even buy it. I have two different colors because... Like, I couldn't decide, you know? Just buy two and mix them. Um, so I'm just going to take them, and I'm going to put it on another brush because that's how I roll. I don't know about y'all, but I got to finagle this. But um, I keep saying but because I can't talk and, and talk. Um... So, yeah, I got a job just to basically start saving up for school. Probably help my mom out with her bills, you know. And I've been working on something in secret for myself that hopefully if I, you know, no, I am. So, when my channel starts to grow, I can let you guys in on a little secret. And, yeah, it's going to be popping. I'm super excited. Honestly, I am over the moon. You don't see the excitement. But, um, no, in all seriousness, I am really excited to share with you guys what I'm working on. Like, as soon as I got back, I feel like this, this, this full moon in Pisces, then a harvest moon, and then after that, um, you know, what's going into retrograde? I really don't know what's going into retrograde right now, but apparently it's supposed to bring, like, really good energy. So, I'm not super into astrology, but I'm trying to get into it, but, um... I th it's a lot it is a lot and my eyebrows look so thick does it look that thick nah it suits my face <laughs> okay but I've been on TikTok lately and TikTok triggers me not in a way that I'm like super affected by it but it triggers me because I see people talk about stupid stuff all the time I see all these kids getting famous and me and my mom had this conversation in the car and I was like, people need to stop mixing um, our, my generation with some people's generation. Like Cardi B is 25 years old. She's like, what, 25, 26 years old? Um, who else is like in that age category that people like clump us together? Um, like all the big name YouTubers like David Dobrik, Liza Koshy, all of those people, they're not in my generation. So please stop saying that people in my generation like stop clumping us together because you know y'all be like oh y'all supposed to be or y'all supposed to be the example you know old people be like that they be like 
this generation is trash. It's like, no, dude, your generation was trash. Y'all taught us all it is. Y'all gave us all the privilege that we did not ask for because at the end of the day, you raised us, not us. We didn't raise ourselves, you know? Um, we didn't advance technology. Y'all did. So, anyways, that was not my rant. But I was talking about the different generations, and there are so many different generations. So, like, millennials are not millennials. Like, y'all be saying that to people in the 2000s, like, 90s are millennials. That's not true. That's not true. Millennials are, I think, from, like, 1980-something to 1990-something. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to put it in the screen because I'm, like, so sick of people clumping us together. Like, baby boomers are, like, the 60s, 40 to the 60s, I think. And then um, then you have Generation uh, X, which is my mom's generation, which is 19... 19- 74 to the next generation which is millennials so millennials are between 30 and 25 or 22 something like that i'll put it on the screen because i don't want to be wrong but yeah and then after millennials come generation z which is my generation because i was born in 2001 and generation z starts from 19 98 to 2005 I think I want to say then after that we had the tap hot babies so um yeah stop clumping our generations together please it took me forever to do my eyebrows but now for my face I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me because this is my favorite foundation I've been using this foundation for years I used to use MAC and um Clint Clinique I don't know what I used to use before this, but in the shade 338, it's really not my shade that I'm going to use it because I'm updating my makeup routine, so I'm going to make it look cute. So I'm only using that much because, like I said, I have really good skin right now, and I'm really not trying to mess it up for trying to look cute. But back to what I was talking about. So there are different generations, and like people always just clump like millennials and generation z and then generation the new generation i don't know what it's called but y'all clump it all together and we're not from the same generation so don't so don't period so cardi b is not a part of my generation so stop looking at her and saying like we fell like no look at me look at me Uh. but yeah i just you know wanted to let y'all know that um there are different generations and y'all y'all need to do y'all y'all man but, um, what else should I talk about? Um, I think I want to talk about YouTube's algorithm of making people famous. Um, I think it's crazy because the amount of people who've went viral slash gone, gotten famous over the past two years has been insane. Like, when I tell you guys that some people that I just did not think were going to make it, made it. Like, where's the personality at? Where Where's the small talk? Where's the actual person? Yeah, I get the personality. Like, everyone is doing this for the money. For me, I'm like, <laughs> I just want to document how stupid I am. And be able to look back and show my kids, like, your mom did that. Or your aunt. Because I don't think I want any kids. Um, But look how I used to do my makeup. You know, type of thing. <laughs> um, But no, I'm not looking for... I have a mustache and I was trying to find the little razor to shave it off, but who cares? Um, I'm not looking for fame, fortune, and, you know, to make this my job, but I would, it wouldn't hurt to get a check. But at the end of the day, you know, on God's timing, um, you'll get your position, you'll get your place, you'll get the opportunity that that same person who you know, I know. I don't want to say nobody deserves it because everyone is given a position for a reason now. How you lose it and everything, that's, your, that's on you, but... I definitely feel like people take advantage. You should t- take advantage of your opportunity because it will pass you up. Trust me. Um, especially if you don't have any personality or things come out. But um, recently I've been watching, uh, like I said, I've been watching a lot of astrology things. I'm taking my Pro Concealer, Pro LA Girl Pro Concealer in the two different colors. And I'm going to swipe them on my face. It's my face. It's clean. And I don't really care. 
but um recently i've been watching like i said a lot of astrology videos and stuff and this one girl i'm gonna link her video in the description bar because it was amazing like how much information came from her video and it was talking about the new age Aquari aquarius and i'm an aquarius and this is not being cocky whatsoever i'm not talking about the actual sign but every like the mayans you know like they used to track astrology and you know when the planets move and everything and basically we're in Aqu the time of aquarius which is time of technology advancements if you guys notice remember in 2012 when everyone thought it was the end of the world i'm not trying to laugh because it's, it's not that funny but it's kind of funny but remember in 2012 when everyone thought the, the world's gonna end well it did it kind of like it ended and it began a new like type of world began like iphone basically started booming um uh, technology started booming like we were we had ipads and you know there was no such thing as an ipod at that time like ipods quickly went out of business laptops are thin as paper tvs you know all these different technology tech you know the word advancements started happening around us and people were like oh like that did that's just like no it was like that was just move with the times like no this stuff like 12 2012 was not that long ago and it's like we made some technological advancements that's the word <laughs> i got it we made some pretty big technological oh my god i can't get that word you know what i'm trying to say in seven years like come on like some of the stuff that has happened in seven years took 20 years for it to happen like you know how long people were using those box computers so we're in a new age we're in a new age of um the world and it's supposed to, and like usually these new ages last for like 2000 years so another thing is aquariuses are like are like just in general the sign like the way that they describe the sign we're we're, we're signs where we don't take bs we don't really like entertain bs um so when you don't entertain bs you just um live life a little bit differently and you live life like kind of like this oh my base looks a hot mess i have no idea what i did wrong okay there we go it looks good i'll match my coffee but um thirsty. so we're basically entering a new time and this fan is supposed to last for like 2,000 years. That's why it was like a, such a huge shift. Like, and she was saying like, you notice like in 2012, a lot of things are being hidden. Like a lot of exposed days are happening, like where people are being exposed more. Whereas like a scandal, if a scandal happened like back then, uh, before 2012, like it would take years for it to get out. Whereas like now we, social media has jumped. Like Facebook was like the baddest, like she was the baddest punta out there and um instagram twitter and now all these other tiktok you know these social media platforms are just skyrocketing and just came out of nowhere and took over so that's another example of like the advancement of technology but um i'm gonna use this maybelline fit me uh darker shade this is in mocha it's 360 and i use this as my contour shade um now a lot of people think that you shouldn't use foundation but it's pretty much the same thing as a concealer and bronzer oh, i mean whatever that stuff is concealer and 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 i can't think of the word that so i'm just gonna dab that on the sides of my cheeks my forehead and right underneath my chin and then we're gonna blend but anyways back to the conversation so um like a lot of things are being exposed a lot quicker like you can't really get away with i don't really like you can't get away with how much you used to be able to get away with back then and it was like rumors it was stories like now it's like facts like people's pulling out videos and text messages so this is that's the new age kicking in like that's the new age of aquarius kicking in so if you guys want more information about that video i'll definitely link her video i'll put like a picture of it and i'll link it in the description bar because it was so informational and if you guys are really into like stuff like astrology and changing in times and 
you know she was like it really was like an end of a world because it felt like it like it felt like the world was ending the way things happen you know and i understand where she was coming from so if you guys want a little bit more information definitely hit the girl up because she 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 said some, she dropped some bombs and it really like was like <gasps> really like like wow um so yeah it was a lot of information but like i said i've been into a lot of astrology but not just astrology i've been into tarot reading and energy and meditation and i'm gonna be filming a video hopefully soon about meditation and um i hope that you guys actually enjoy the video that i'm gonna film about it because it's gonna be super informational but it's also gonna be kind of like a story about my testament and like what i had to go through in order for me to like actually see things coming into fruition um so it was really, it's really going to be good, but I've been into a lot of like just in a spiritual walk and a spiritual journey. And that's why I think you guys should definitely watch my video where I talk about my experience and walking and learning when God is saying no and, um, God is saying no, but not to hurt your feelings and not to stop you, but he's trying to put you on the right track and and he's trying to make sure it's happening on his timing because when you force anything on your timing something always goes wrong but when you wait on god everything goes right and then some so um but i've been meditating and i've been on the spiritual walk 2019 has been a very really like physically tough year for me a lot of things happened for me a lot of things i went through obviously from my experience of me talking to you guys just a little bit and I've just been going super good, y'all. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do an eye look or not. Because if I do, I'm going to set my face now. But if I don't, I'm not going to. I don't know. But I've been really going through it, like I said. And um, some of the things that I thought were, like, hindering me, I thought God was stopping I thought God was blocking for me. He was really like saving me from making the wrong decision and or putting me in a situation so I can learn from that and grow from it. Um, so I definitely I feel like if, if anybody else is on this spiritual walk and a spiritual journey, like definitely hit me up and let me know because I feel like we're all like going through some type of change. Oh, I'm taking um these two browns right here and I mixed them and I'm just gonna put them on my eyelid and then blend it out this is usually what I do when I don't want to wear makeup but I kind of want to wear makeup but like I said um I feel like there's a lot of people in this shift of like I want to be more spiritual I want to be more connected and in tune with that other side of me and when I tell you when you decide to make that shift everything starts to fall into perspective but not only into perspective it starts to like change how you view things like i don't want to hear people complain about their first world problems when we still have world hunger and war you know i don't really real i don't want to hear people complain about not having money when there's people who really don't have money and who are homeless you guys see the difference but i'm gonna keep blending but you know like you start to really like wanting to like be a more humanitarian you want it to like be more helpful in the community like I, like, always said this before, like, anybody started saying this. I was like, I don't want to be successful for myself. I don't want to be the type of person who's greedy about money, who's greedy about how many people know their name. I want to be successful and do things for my community. Like, my success is not for me. It's for the world. It's for my supporters. It's for anybody who vibe with me who rock with me who journeyed with me but not even those people it's just like people when you see somebody in need you need to help them and it doesn't matter if you don't got it i feel like it should there's something in you that that should be able to say turn around and say do you need assistance with anything do you need help some something is calling me to you know check on you like sometimes i'll just check on people and that can be like somebody's late lifesaver just you checking on them to make sure they're good like yo you know, I had this feeling about, like, some, and I had to make sure you was good, like, because you, you've been on my heart, you've been on my mind, and I just don't want anything to be going on with you and me not knowing about it because I wasn't listening to my intuition. But when you start tapping into that spiritual side, you become more empathic, like, people's energy and their vibrations, like, they really, it really starts to mess with you, like, 
like affect you and you really have to learn to control that like and that was my journey for this year was controlling like my empathic side because I feel like like I was connecting with a lot of people and a lot of people's energy was starting to like really weigh on me like I was having stress weight <laughs> your girl was going through it and you know I really wanted to like help people but I was like I gotta get myself together before I try to help anybody so yeah that's what my journey was this year and you know I think I definitely think people should listen to their readings a little bit more and really just listen to what these people have to say sometimes it doesn't really align with you but like all you have to do is go on YouTube and look up um your air sign your set uh, moon sign whatever moon rising sun rising moon I don't know what it is um or just look up your regular uh, birth sign, which is like Aquarius, Capricorn, Leo, Virgo, all of those. And all you have to do is search um, reading, 2019 readings. And you can watch readings for your whole full year forecast. And then you can watch some readings for like not a full year. So I thought I saw also these spirits is trying to get me. I'm going to put my eyelashes on and then I'm going to come back in a minute and show you guys the final look. But I got to put my eyelashes on off camera because you know, you know, I'm trying to put my eyelashes on. You know how people be like, oh, don't use hair glue on your eyes. It's like at this point, I've been risking it all for the rest of my life. I gotta put my eyelashes on. Oh, I need to comb my eyelashes out, first of all. My mom gets so mad at me. She's like, why do you wear eyelashes? You already have eyelashes. I'm like, I want them thick, full, and voluptuous. 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 How you say that word? So the key to getting on eyelashes and not using a lot of weave glue is you put on regular eyelash glue and then I put on my little eyelash eyelash glue. Oof. Okay guys, so after struggling for about five to ten minutes, I ain't gonna lie, it's about twenty minutes. I got distracted, I started watching some videos. Um, I finally got my eyelashes on and now we are going to put some lip color on. I don't know what I want to do for my lips, honestly. Like, do I want to do a lipstick? I used to wear lipstick all the time in the color Terrible Taupe by Maybelline. <laughs> and this used to be my favorite. You guys see how much I used to wear this? This was my favorite. I have another. Like, that's it's such a pretty mauve color. But I used to be tan. You're probably like, you're already 10. What are you talking about? No, like, when I first moved to California, I was super 10. This is kind of like a fall look. You guys see, like, it kind of is too... I don't know. I can, I can get away with it. Put a little gloss on. Over top. Ow, my bra got stuck to my bra strap. Oh yeah, this is it right here. This is the lip. Yeah, that's the lip right there. This is so cute. I actually like my makeup. I'm not gonna wear eyelashes every day. I'm probably just gonna put mascara on because my eyelashes are pretty long. I did not set my makeup, so I guess I'm supposed to set my face. So I use a banana powder, nothing too, nothing too crazy. And I use this little triangle thing because I feel like it gets in my creases a little bit better. And it helps me line up my jaw. So these still come in handy. Makeup artists still should use these. 
you get more in the bundle. I feel like beauty blenders, that's like for amateurs. But a sponge like this, that's for the real deal, baby. I don't keep my um baking on for too long because my foundation isn't matte foundation or flat. No, it is a matte foundation, I, I want to say. Yeah, it's a matte poreless foundation, so you don't really need to set it if you're wearing a matte foundation. But because, like, concealer and all that stuff isn't, we still want to set it. So I'm just going to take my brush and just brush out my under eyes. And the banana powder kind of lightens my eyes, too, and my areas that I want to highlight. But this would be my makeup look for every day. And it usually would probably take me about 10 minutes. But I keep talking, so. Um, it's kind of like updated. I don't use the same concealer. Um, I used to use a an orange color. Actually, I have it right here. Like, I bought an extra one. And I don't even use it. You see the dust on it? You see how orange that is compared to this one? And it oxidizes, so it turns even more orange. I'm a, like, a olive, yellow kind of girl. I'm not orange, golden. I look like I'm golden in this view, but I'm actually very yellow. You guys can see. That's, like, my real skin tone. Like, I have a tan because I've been outside. I don't ever go outside. Oh, we got to set our face. You guys see? I'm, like... What else is what's next? Like I'm like a kid in a candy store. So I'm just gonna take my NYX fat flat matte this, and I'm gonna spray like all over my face. I love this stuff because man, when your face is starting to kind of get ishy, and like feeling like tight like you spray that on there real quick you good to go so for my highlight i'm gonna do not too much of a dramatic highlight oh let me see it's the mirror can y'all see it that color there we go i'm gonna use that to highlight it's just like low-key an eyeshadow palette but Just gonna take my this is actually a morphe brush so i'm gonna take this morphe m218 and if you guys see me looking down i'm looking in a mirror right here a handheld mirror so i'm just gonna highlight the tip of my nose then just do a, a swipe on my bridge because i don't want it to, to be too crazy then you know i'm walking around looking like rudolph the red nose right there and then I'm just gonna do the tops of my cheeks. Where you guys see my natural highlight at. Like you can see it. And then I'm gonna do my forehead. Go up in like an upward motion. People be like this. Like no, you follow the lines of your forehead. I don't know if you guys can tell, but if I do this, you guys can see the lines of my forehead. But just gonna blend this out a little bit more with the excess that's on the brush and then do this side sometimes I highlight my cupid's bow but at this point in my life I don't want to I'm just gonna put some underneath my chin and there we go so this is my everyday makeup look honestly it really is if I don't want to do all of this I'll just use concealer and I'll just conceal underneath my eyes my chin my forehead and do my eyebrows um if i don't want to put foundation on but if i do want to put foundation on i will do this whole look and like i said it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to put this look together on camera of course it took me about 30 minutes because i'm talking because i wanted to do a chit chat like type of get ready with me but like i said off camera here we go this is this is the beat um I feel like it's super light. I don't really feel it. Um, I didn't like put a bunch of foundation on. The key to having good skin, I mean, good, a good base is to have good skin. So take care of your skin. Um, take those months off of wearing, um, of wearing makeup if you feel like your skin is 
um, starting to get worse from wearing too much makeup. Um, cause me personally, I like wearing makeup, but when I, when I feel like my skin is starting to like break out and get really bad, I stop and I will restart and, you know, re refresh my skin and try to try it again, try it again later and later in life. So, um, all the products that I use weren't too expensive. The only most expensive thing over here is like, I think the, the mattifying primer that I use and um usually what i put on my actual skin so um the eyelashes which are my holy grail i swear by these eyelashes i swear if you don't buy these eyelashes forget ordering them forget going to get mink eyelashes just go to your local cvs cities walgreens and or beauty supply store and get the double layer number eight or number seven in the wispy eyelash collection by kiss I swear by these lashes I have look and I just use the pack and then there's a pack behind you guys so I have four packs of these and I swear by them they last you can reuse them about four to five times and they're just the perfect amount of wisp as you guys can see I already have long eyelashes so these are just to enhance my look and my makeup look so um yeah I hope you guys like this chit chat get ready with me I hope you guys got some information or got to know me if you wanted to and i uh, hope you like the makeup look i hope it was easy to follow it pretty it, it it really is makeup is not that hard it's all about having good skin a gentle hand and an idea of what you're trying to recreate this eyelash right here has like eyelash glue on the actual eyelashes so they're like clumped together it's bothering me but um yeah i hope you guys like this look and like i said um the lip combination that i use is the trouble terrible taupe yeah, terrible taupe. I don't know if they even still make this lipstick anymore. And then you, or you can use Maple Kiss, which is more of a, um, here, I'll do a swatch so you guys can see. It's more orange tone, red tone, and this one is more dyed down. Like, it's, it's pretty much the same, but it's more brown, brown reds, and this is like a cooler kind of tone. But yeah, it's called Terrible Taupe and the color is 940 and you guys can use this and then put a little bit of a lip gloss on over top of it and you have this beautiful nude lip combo and it's like less than like $10, bet you any money. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope this wasn't too long. I hope you guys really enjoyed my updated makeup routine. It really didn't get that much updated. I just died down how much highlighter I use. And also just I changed up some of my formula underneath. But yeah, it's pretty much the same. I hope you guys like it. Um, please don't come for me in the comments about how thick my eyebrows are. They're just naturally thick. So I just filled them in um and shape them but yeah i try to grow my eyebrows out and then i wax them so i haven't waxed them yet so that's why they're still pretty thick when i do them um make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you guys want to be a part of my family um i really love you guys so much and thank you for sticking along because i know i'm kind of annoying and i talk too much but it's cool because we're, we're becoming friends Comment down below your favorite foundation. I really want to try the Fenty one, but Fenty's like full coverage, and I don't do full coverage makeup at all. Like, my skin has to breathe. I don't care how breathable the foundation is. I just, I like to see some of my, like, I have a beauty mark right here. I have one right here. So I like to see those flaws and imperfections. Like, I don't want to be looking fake, but I want to look good, but I don't want to look fake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.